Welcome to this tutorial on the use of the IEA's IDB Analyzer. The purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to use the IDB Analyzer to work with linear regression. The linear regression allows you to calculate a linear function that best predicts a dependent variable from one or more independent variables. You can use continuous or categorical variables as independent variables and automatically code the categorical variables using dummy or effect coding. To follow along this tutorial, you will need the following. A computer running one of the latest versions of Microsoft Windows. This can be a PC or Apple machine running a Windows emulator. The latest version of the IDB analyzer, which can be downloaded from the IEA website. One of the latest versions of SPSS for Windows and a data set for your analysis. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use Perl's data from the 2011 assessment and that was copied to your computer together with your copy of the IDB Analyzer. The IDB Analyzer is a standalone application that creates SPSS syntax to merge and conduct analysis with large-scale assessment data. For a complete list of compatible studies, please refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer. This tutorial will show you how to work with data from any of those studies. Remember that because of the nature of the data collection design, you will need to use sampling weights, use replication methods for estimating sampling variance, use plausible values when analyzing achievement data, estimate measurement variance, and combine the error terms for use in significance testing. Ignoring these design features leads to biased results. The technical documentation of each study has details of the specific procedures to be applied in each assessment. The analysis module of the IDB Analyzer is a tool that allows you to select variables relevant for your analysis, create code in SPSS that will be used for the analysis, conduct analysis taking into account the sample and assessment design, and produce results in different formats that can be readily used by other software. It works by reading a data file stored in your local computer. It then uses SPSS as a computation engine for the analysis. Please note that for more efficient processing, you should use your local machine to save all your results. Before we get started, take this opportunity to launch the IDB Analyzer. If you haven't downloaded the, a copy of the IDB Analyzer, please refer to the first tutorial of this series where you will receive instructions on how to download and install the IDB Analyzer. Also, please start your copy of SPSS. When conducting an analysis, you will first need to select the analysis type. The program will only allow you to select permissible analysis types based on the contents of your data file. In the second step, you will need to select the statistic type. In this case, we'll use linear regression. You will have the option to select how to deal with missing data in your analysis, listwise, pairwise, or mean substitution approach. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will show you how to conduct the following analysis. Compute a linear regression equation predicting how much students like reading as a function of the number of books they have in the home and how confident they are in their reading. And we'll also compute a linear regression equation predicting reading proficiency as a function of gender and how confident they are in their reading. To start our analysis, we'll select Analysis Module. Then we will select the data file that we want to work with. And this will be Merge Pearls Data. For our analysis type, we will select Pearls using student weights. For our statistics type, we'll select Linear Regression. For our first example, we will not be using plausible values. As for missing data option, Notice that we can select pairwise, listwise, or mean substitution. Pairwise will use the most information in our data file. Listwise will select only records that have complete uh, data on the analysis variables. And mean substitution will substitute missing values with the mean of the analysis variable. For example, we're going to select pairwise. We're going to leave the number of decimals at 2. And we're going to be conducting our analysis by country. Our independent variable is going to be amount of books in your in the home, ASBG of 4. 
This is a categorical variable. So if we right click on the variable, we can see the details and we'll see that there are five categories plus the missing category. So we're going to be under number of categories. We're going to select five for contrast coding. We're going to select effect coding and we're going to leave one as a reference category. Our continuous variable for the analysis is going to be a variable called ASPGSCR, which is student's confidence in reading. And our dependent variable is going to be the variable that tells us about students liking reading, and that is called ASBGSLR. The weight is automatically selected by the program. And we're going to define the name of the output file, and we're going to call it linear regression with no possible value. We start as PSS, and we can run this analysis by pressing Control A followed by Control R or by simply going run all. You can follow the analysis on the lower right hand side of your screen. And once your results are back on your screen, let's take a look at the results that are posted here. We have, first of all, we have the categorical variable, which is the amount of books in the home, and we'll see that there were five categories. And the program will show you how that variable was coded using an effect coding. And you'll see that the reference category was the first one, so that gets a minus one here. And you'll see that subsequent variables will have the one assigned to the next category. You'll see that it's also created variables that have an E2, E3, E4, and a five, and those are the effect coded variables that will go into the regression analysis. In the next screen, you will see unweighted statistics for all the analysis variables, and we can check here minimum and maximum and so on to uh, make sure that our data is within the range that we expect them to be. We have weighted statistics for all the variables in the analysis. And then that is followed by the following output. We have the model statistics. So we have the R squared, the standard error of the R squared, the adjusted R squared, and the standard error of the adjusted R squared, followed by descriptive statistics for each one of the variables used in the analysis. And notice here that you'll have the effect coded variables, the number of cases, the population estimate, the mean for that variable, the standard deviation, and the variance with the corresponding standard errors for those statistics. And at the end, you will get for each country the regression equation. You will have the constant and then the regression coefficient for the uh, confidence in reading variable and each one of the effect coded variables for the number of books in the home. With the corresponding standard error, we have the t-value, which is the regression coefficient divided by the standard error of the regression coefficient. And we have the standardized regression coefficient as well. So if we go and look at our output in the directory where we save the results, we will see then the following output files. We will see the syntax that was created by the IDB analyzer. We will see an Excel file with the model statistics for each country. We'll have the R squared, the adjusted R squared, and the corresponding errors with some log information. We will have the descriptive statistics for the variables in the analysis. And we will have the coefficients for the regression equation of this analysis variables predicting 
students liking reading. In our next analysis, we're going to be actually predicting a plus hole value, in this case reading. So we're going to select under plus hole value option, use PVs. As our missing data option, we'll select listwise. Our independent variables is going to be gender. Now that has two categories and we can do by right clicking on the variable and selecting details. We see we have girls and boys. Because it's only two categories, then it makes sense to select dummy coding. Two categories. And we're going to select as a reference group, the boys to see how much the difference between the boys and the girls is in the reading score. As a continuous variable, we are going to select the student's confidence in reading. So we can select the variable by typing a keyword on, in the uh, description uh, box, and we will select ASPGSCR. And even though we're not going to use this option in this case, we could also select one of the possible values as a predictor, but we're not going to be doing that for this example. As our dependent variable, we're going to be selecting a plus hole value of reading. And our output file, we're going to be calling it linear regression with PV. Once we've completed our selection, we start SPSS. And again, we can do control A, control R to run the analysis, or we do run all. And you can follow the analysis progress by looking at the lower right hand side corner of your screen. Once your analysis is completed, let's take a look at the output. So you will see at the top of your output, file, you'll see the categorical variable that went into the analysis, boys and girls. And then you will have how that variable was dummy coded. We have a variable called ASPG01 followed by a D1, meaning that it's a dummy coded uh, of the first value of that variable. That is followed by descriptive statistics, unweighted of the variables that went into the analysis. You'll see the five plus all values being used here for the analysis. Next, you'll see weighted statistics, again, for all the variables in the analysis. You have a uh, processing log telling you, the program is telling you that it used five plus all values, 150 replicates. And then you have the first part of the output, which is the model statistics, R squared with the corresponding standard error and the adjusted R squared with the corresponding standard error. That is followed by descriptive statistics for all the variables in the analysis and the regression coefficients by country for each one of the variables in the analysis. You have the regression coefficients, the t-value, the standardized regression coefficients, and the t-value of the standardized regression coefficients. In your directory where you save the results, you will then have similar Excel files with model statistics for each one of the countries. You will have descriptive statistics and you will have the coefficients. Thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial. For more information on using the IDB Analyzer, please view our other online tutorials or refer to the help manual of the IDB Analyzer.